Hey everyone, comic book lovers, welcome to Comic Book Fanatics, and if you are a subscriber, welcome back to Comic Book Fanatics. I am, I, well, I go by Fanboy72, don't ask me why, it's a long story, but I wanted to do my pick of the week for you guys. Now, on the left side is uh, a few of the books that I got for my pick of the week, and on the right side is actually a few that I picked up this week from last week, if that makes any sense, because uh, because my local comic book stores didn't have these particular variants or exclusives, so of course I had to go online to the actual comic book shop to, to order those in and, and get them in. So since I didn't have them last week for uh, my top picks, or my picks for, from last week, I, I, went, I decided to go ahead and just show it for you uh, this week. Now... No, um, on the left side, like, like I said, is uh, the basically for this week. There wasn't a lot of books out this week at all, which is, you know, depending on how you look at it, probably good for the uh, p the pocketbook. And uh, but supposedly next week is supposed to be another big week in books, and so th they should have a, a quite a lot of them uh, to choose and pick from there. But uh, I I'm happy with. Um, with definitely what uh, the ones that I have for for this week, the um, unfortunate thing I don't have, and I got to the the store a little bit late, was uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number fifty one. By the time I got there, all the books were sold out, even the uh, sketch cover variants were sold out. So I had to request from the from the employees down there at uh, my local comic book shop to go ahead and order that for me, and just kind of give me a call when whenever it comes in. And so, which is you know really good because I've developed a really good rapport with um, with the owner and the the workers there that that uh, they're nice enough to to give me my own box and when something comes in, I ask them to hold for me. They'll do that. So you know if you if you go to your local comic book store and you don't you basically don't find what you're looking for if it's sold out, just talk to the guy behind the counter and and see what you can do. I'm, I'm sure they can either order it for you or uh, get it to you somehow. And they're they're pretty they're really pretty good about that. Okay. All right. So here we go. For uh, my pick of the week is Lady Mechanica number six, Tablet of Destiny. And there's actually two of these because there is actually another variant to it. It is uh, uh, a Joe. Of course, it's by Joe Joe Benitez. But this cover right here, I believe, is by an individual by the name of Montiel. I believe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I always love these uh, these uh, covers. It's very steampunkish um, in a way. So it, it always seems to to draw me uh, to it and kind of grasp my uh, I don't know my focal point if you will but always lovely colors with those now this one right here is the uh another one that came in this week uh canaan last padawan and this is uh number seven and i i've been following this since it first came out so it's not it's not bad at all i think uh i think it's a possibility you know right now this this book is a, a bit of a sleeper but I think possibility that with the, the whole hype with Star Wars and everything, it's a possible chance that this character right here may may have his own show one day, or if not, be um, be be in a movie, or or I don't know, become a a talked about character. But that's my personal opinion. Just like most of these books you see right here, a lot of these uh, my pick of the weeks are based off my personal opinion. So uh, take it for what it's worth. Now, this one right here, Sunflower number one, it's by a company called 451. Um, this was not at my local comic book stores. They did not carry this. So I actually happened to run into this while I was at a regular bookstore uh, looking for something else. And I went to the magazine um, stand uh, in, inside the bookstore and this this was actually there so I heard a lot of good reviews about it so I, I decided to go ahead and get me one 
and uh, and read it and see what it's about. Uh, reason why you don't see it inside a bag and board yet because uh, I still wanna I still wanna see what the uh, the storyline is is about. It says uh, you know it, it's it's supposedly has some really great uh, reviews on this, so I'm looking forward to definitely reading it. And another one that was in the same stand was a uh, a book called Bad Moon Rising. It's by the same company, Four Five One, and looked like a pretty good cover, and it fell within uh, within that company's range. So I, I decided, okay, let me let me see what this one's about as well. And here's another one by uh, Four Five One. This is called Self Storage, and the cover kind of grasped me as a, a bit of a zombie cover. So I said. I, I definitely would like to check this one out and see see if it really has to do anything with zombies or you know mutants or whatever. So sometimes these covers can be mis misleading. Whereas you think it's going to be zombies, it it turns out to be mutants. Uh, and here's another one by the uh, by the same company. It's called uh, Ex Mortis, and uh, this one is kind of uh, has Hitler on it. So it it almost kind of has that. Uh, Nazi zombie feel to it, if you will, but or it could be mutants, who knows? But I thought it'd be an interesting read, so I picked that one up as well. And another one by the the same company, it's called uh, Six, and uh, I have no idea what this one is about, but uh, it was in the same stack, so I decided to pick it up and and go from there. And then. This one right here is um, by Titans Comics, is Assassin's Creed number one, and this is the Barnes and Noble, I guess if you would call it exclusive or variant, because that's where I picked these books up at. So and I, and uh, I have another one, a variant by with the cover artist of Jamie Tyndall on it, and this one is actually done by a Mario uh, Lac. Costra, La Costra, I think it is. All right, uh, another pick for this week was Spider-Man Two, uh, twenty ninety nine, number two. Invincible Iron Man, number two. And Batman, Robin, et ex uh, Eternal, number four. My God, I can't talk today for some reason. And Dark Side, the Dark Side War, Batman number one. And this one is Oniba, Sword of the Demon. And I really like the cover on this. Now this is one of the variants to it. This is actually the uh, the B cover. So and this is the only one my comic book store had, but uh, unfortunately, because I was looking at the the program that I have the CLZ comic, and if you watch one of my latter video go, video, uh, v, videos, my God, I can't talk today. You will see that I, I did a sort of a review on that. So what I went what I went to do on there was kind of look at the different uh, variations of cover uh, covers they have on there. So this was just actually one of them, and the, the rest of the covers look absolutely beautiful. I picked this one up as well. Um, this is actually the second time I picked up a cosplay book, and I, I've always really been um, intrigued with cosplay, and I, I've always been a, uh, a fan and supported a lot of these cosplayers as well. So, and it's always good to to, to look at the different cosplays because you know who knows maybe uh, you might see a picture of yourself in there one day if you happen to dress up when you go to the conventions, right? So those are my uh, my pick of the weeks. Uh, for this week, and as you saw, uh, one of them were, was actually Sunflower, and Sunflower, I think, I believe, came out last week, so I can, I should have probably put that on the right side. But here on the right side, of course, you guys know I'm an amazing Spider-Man lover. Anything Spider-Man, I'm, I'm all about, it, especially when it comes to J. Scott Campbell and Nii Rufino, who, who did the cover art and the coloring on this. So this is the Am Amazing Spider-Man um, Campbell exclusive variant um, number one, and this is an absolutely amazing and beautiful cover. I love how they did the, the color tone to it, and just the absolute sketch is just absolutely is just amazing. So I definitely definitely can't go wrong with this, and any, any other Amazing Spider-Man lovers out there, um, you you know just exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and this one is another. 
uh, Campbell exclusive. This is uh, Spider Gwen number one, and he did an amazing job. Same same artist, J. Scott Campbell, and the color uh, Nia Rufino. They always work awesome together. Okay, you saw this book on my last video from last week, but the reason why I put this up here right now because I wind up finally uh, I order the. Uh, the other covers to this and I wanted to show you guys uh, the additional covers that came that came with it this is uh, another fistful of blood number one and that is the uh, a, a subscriber cover and this one is another cover variant cover to this so there there's three three covers that I have so I just wanted to show that to everybody and here's another book I kind of missed out on um, during Back to the Future Day. By the time I got to the store, it was um, all sold out. So I wound up having to order this online, and it just got here this week. So I just wanted to show you guys my copy of it. And this one right here I thought was absolutely hilarious. This came out last week as well, and I preferred this variant cover to the the other one the other one is just as funny as well but with with this one right here this you know with her f doing the middle finger and all i thought it would just be a fun one to have if you if you will it's a scotty young cover by the way and i also picked this one up today i did not actually have this i happened to be browsing through um some uh, some of the long boxes there with the variants and this one popped up and I did not have this one in my collection and with silk on there and the black cat on there I, I definitely it just drew me to it and I had to pick this one up it's a gorgeous cover here and this is just a blank cover that I wind up picking up at uh, the bookstore. And the reason why I, I pick up a lot of these blank covers because when I go to these conventions, I always like to bring them along with me because you never know if you see somebody or if someone's doing any type of commissions or just doing a head sketch. It's always something good to have, maybe two or three of them. One, every time you go to the convention, it's just good to have those things laying around. You never know because... You can always get a, someone to do a little commission for you or just do a head sketch for you. And then you get it sent in and just get it uh, verified by CBCS and get it sent back to you and encapsulated and everything. It's it's you know it's definitely worth having. I, I definitely recommend it. So if, uh, if there's opportunities for you guys to get uh, the sketch variants and you do go to conventions or you can you can always send them in if you email some of these artists that you like. And if they respond back to you, you know, you can always talk to them about doing a sketch cover and, and sending those in to them so they can get it done for you. I think I've got two actually right now that are in the queue to get done. So I, I'm actually waiting on those ones. All right. So those are my, my pick of the weeks. And this is my pickups, I guess you can call it, of this week. And like I said, there was a lot for the week or so, but uh, I, I, I'm happy with what I picked up. And next week being a bigger week for books, uh, I'll, I'll be very curious to, to what comes out. And I'm, I'm sure there's other videos out there that you guys saw uh, with the, these different reviews as well. And um, I, I know I'm a little late to the to, to jump on this, but uh, I, I don't... I, I, I usually like to make sure I have everything by towards the end of the week before I actually do um, show these off to to everybody. Um, I know it's a little late sometimes because sometimes people just want to see it the same day. That way they, they kind of know, okay, well, you know what? I missed out on this one, so I'll probably go back the next day and hopefully it's still there. And, and that's a good thing to do. Um, but uh, unfortunately, um, I, you know, I, I just don't have the opportunity to do things like that as well. Um, another thing I want to do is uh, I want to thank some I want to thank my subscribers as well. Now, uh, particularly uh, a couple guys that just subscribed within the the past week, a week and a half. Um, and if I say your guys' name wrong, I apologize about that. Uh, Don Comic Book Junkie, Verse Wonder, Cod Ghost Eight One Eight, Dark Side Jedi, Ryan Homan, Oz Ricklin. I Star Lord and JT Mac. I appreciate you guys coming by, stopping while watching the video, and definitely appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. I, I appreciate the support, and 
um, it's definitely all about the community and and learning from one another. And I hope uh, in the future I can I can continue continue to definitely uh, push good products out there and uh, to keep you guys coming back for more and keep you guys watching my channel. But uh, once again, I, I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.